All right, guys. Last time we talked about digital uh, signals, which are two state. Uh, you're either high or low, or uh, represented with binary, which is a zero and one. Now we're going to talk about what's called analog ICs or analog integrated circuits, also known as linear. These signals can vary anywhere from zero to some peak value or anywhere in between over time. If you look at the graph at the top, you see this varying signal. It goes to various peaks and valleys as, as time goes on. That might be representative of something monitoring the speed of something. As you see, it goes up, increases speed, then it decreases some, then it goes up to a higher speed and decreases. And, and that's monitor over time. And you might see that on what's called an analog uh, meter, which has got like a needle to it, and it'll like it might be like an analog speedometer pointing to a various speed. You look down here at the bottom of the light bulbs, that gives you a little bit more of a physical uh, visual of it. And as we vary this control down here, uh, it varies the uh, light intensity from dark to semi, semi-bright to bright, back to semi-bright and back dark again. Now here is a representative symbol. Uh, the triangle is what we call an operational amplifier or op-amp for short. These are integrated circuits with full amplifier circuits like you studied back when you were studying transistor amplifiers contained on a single uh, silicon chip. And here we have a crystal microphone as an input, and the output of the op amp has a speaker. So the crystal microphone has a piezoelectric crystal, which you know. Uh, when you apply pressure to the crystal, it generates a small voltage depending on the amount of pressure you apply. There's a diaphragm attached to that crystal. It takes sound waves, and as the sound waves vibrate the diaphragm, it varies the pressure on the crystal, varying the amount of voltage it's output, and that voltage output from the microphone is fed into the input of the operational amplifier. As you can see here, here's a small signal. And then at the output of the amplifier, we're getting a, an identical signal, but much larger. That identical symbol, uh, I mean signal, is being fed into the speaker, which changes the electrical energy back into sound, in, uh, uh, sound waves by ver uh, vibrating a diaphragm that is in the speaker. Parts of an operational amplifier. Here we have uh, two inputs. One of them is called the inverting input, which is represented by the minus sign here. The other is the non-inverting input, which is represented by the plus sign. Then we have two, two voltage sources. We have the positive voltage su supply and the negative voltage uh, supply, and then we have an output. This is two configurations for two uh, very common operational amplifiers. First, we have the 741, typically an LM741, and then this one is a uh, 380 or an LM380. Notice here the positive and negative supplies, how they're represented by these series voltage sources here with the ground uh, connected in the center. We're grounding the non-inverting input here, and we're utilizing only the inverting input on the amplifier. In this case, we're using a single source to supply both the positive and the negative sides. Uh, of, of the voltage supplies on this op amp and we've got two inputs we've got both the inverting and the non-inverting input available